Hi, this is Ashley Chugga, and today we are going over Cinegens' collab with Lashify Eyelashes, your at-home lash extensions. And you guys, it is so easy to apply, tiny learning curve, but I am so impressed. I cannot wait to continue using these, so let me show you how I did. All right, the first thing you're gonna take is your blooming bond, which comes in this. It's a flexible bond. Uh, Lashify has tons of patents on it, and you're going to apply that kind of like you would a mascara. It's actually black, so let me just apply it and show you guys. Um, it's a mascara wand, it's black, and you don't need it to be too thick, um, but you do wanna get a nice coating on your lashes so that the flash florets can stick to it. So. I'm also learning while I am teaching you guys how to do this. Uh, so I'm like gonna do a follow-up video giving you guys all the tips and tricks because I've already learned just from when I, I started on this eye and had to go to this eye because I like applied it too close to my waterline on this eye and had to let this eye finish watering before I could finish and uh, come back. So you, so I have some tips and tricks already for you, but we're gonna do an in-depth one once I've done it a few times. So one thing to note is when you are applying these, like I said, you don't want this to be too thick because you don't want it to get clumpy and cakey. Um, so I feel like it's gonna be a trial and error. On this eye over here, you can see I did two small florets, a med I think I did two small, two medium, and one large in the outer corner. Um, and you'll just play around with what works best for your eye. So you get 10 of each floret in your little kit. Um, and then there will be refills that are coming, but for now it only comes in the kit and it's currently pre-order only, but depending on when you're watching this. All right, so now I'm gonna take my little wand and I'm going to um, kind of take it at the tip of the lashes. And then I'm, I'm gonna attempt to get this on camera while I'm doing this, but uh, since I'm still learning, I gotta get up close and personal uh, to see. Cause now I'm like scared I'm gonna get it on my waterline again. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. All right, it hits the bond and then I feel like the easiest thing for me was to kind of play with the placement of it once it is in there with the, the bond so that I don't get it on my um, waterline. Because if you get it too close to the waterline, it's not going to stay just because of the fact that it's gonna be hitting the water. Um, and it's just the, the bond isn't gonna last as long. Because you wanna wait 24 hours um, to get them wet. All right, I don't know if I already said this, but when you are applying, um, you the first few times you should expect a shorter wear time or just wear them for a short amount of time um, And then as you get better at applying you would expect to see those longer uh, wear times like up to 10 days, so Definitely Can get that wear time, but you would expect to see that over time as you get more confident with uh, application as you can see, definitely a little bit of a learning curve. I mean, I have can tell you on the one hand how many times I have applied lash extensions or uh, lash strips, two maybe, max. I've applied them twice and that's because they were so annoying, they made me angry and it was literally to put them on to take a Halloween photo and then off they went. Um, these, I cannot feel them, they're not heavy. I'm so excited to play around because I already have tips for myself on how is going to work best for my eye shape and how to wear them and tips I can't wait to share with you guys in future videos. So make sure you stay tuned, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified next time I upload a video like this with more tips and tricks because they will be coming. Cause I could already tell how I want to fix this in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.